Hey guys, this is Chet again. Just uh, coming at you with a review on uh, Mauser I just received. This one here is a 7mm Mauser uh, from SOG. And uh, kind of didn't know what to expect when I first ordered this thing. Um, everybody said, you know, 7mm Mauser, um, you know, Brazilian or Chilean or a lot of the South American contract Mausers. Uh, you know, we're in pretty rough shape and uh, I went ahead and I just, you know, took a stab and and went ahead and got one to see if they were going to be worth anything and uh, actually pretty surprised when I got it. I mean, it's not as beat up as like everybody was touting. Um, you know, these things are listed in NRA good condition. That one tiny repairable crack right here uh, on this thing. Uh, you know, the metal's in pretty good shape. It's not all jacked up, you know, too bad. Or I know a lot of guys were saying, I mean, the thing was just graveyard ready. But uh, it's got the PM numbers here, uh, you know, from Brazil and whatnot. But uh, overall, in pretty good shape. It uh, probably hasn't, you know, had anything run through it, cleaned out. Um, it's got really visible lands and grooves. I and mean, the rifling in it is really strong. Um, it just looks like this thing has just sat, you know, in some box for 60 years. I mean, there's there's no telling, but it's got the nice CZ on it here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's CZ, uh, the BRNO. It's a contract Mauser. This one here is from 1924. <clears throat> and uh, from what I understand, the PM numbers are all seized. And, uh, you know, when they were coming in to the Rebels and then they were reissued to the Brazilians. Who at the time, you know, were just seizing them as they came in. They were bought on a contract by South American Rebels, but... It's in really, it's in really overall good shape. I, I was surprised, you know, when I got it. This thing is blacker than black. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what kind of wood it is. It seems to be a, a, a real grainy hardwood. But I mean, it is, it is absolutely black. I mean, you get to, you touch it and you end up, you know, with, with black on your hands, but. So listed in good condition, uh, you know, it's missing the cleaning rod, pretty well expected on something like this. Also, I don't know if any of you Mauser guys know out there, but, uh, you know, there's a, you can see in the trigger guard right there, there's just a little hole where there's, where there's something absent. Not quite sure about that. But it's just blacker than all get out. So we'll kind of do a, a before and after look at it, and I'm going to spend some time cleaning this up and uh, do the stock repair, get it cleaned up real nice, just try to kind of get this get this black off it and and uh, get some oil back on it and rub it down pretty good. And uh, we'll see, you know, there's our 7 millimeter Mauser. We'll see what it comes out like, you know, as far as the, uh, the wood, sheen of the wood and and whatnot. And uh, with the looks of the rifling and stuff, it looks like it'd be a pretty strong shooter. So everything mechanically on it, you know, is just fine. The only thing I notice is, is the one crack on the other side there. And a couple tiny little, you know, stress points here at the, the main pin there where it's holding the stock on. Other than that, it's in, it's in pretty good shape. So we're going to give it a good cleaning. And you'll see the uh, the before and after I'll put a video up on here after I clean this guy really good and we'll see how it looks so I don't know if you can see it but butt plate looks like it spent a lot of time on the ground all the metals there just dinged up these things have probably been around the block a couple times got the classic bent bolt for these and uh, bent over and there's a cut out in the stock you know right here but it has these little etches on the bottom 
you can really fill them with your thumb, you know, kind of cross hatched in the metal. Kind of cool. You know, different from the straight bolts and stuff, but we're going to take it out, clean it up, cycle a couple rounds through it. Everything looks to be really good. I don't see any stress cracks or anything or like that in the metal anywhere. And so we're going to go ahead and take the stock and everything all off of it and take this guy apart and and we're going to get her shined up, inspect it thoroughly. We're going to take her out probably this weekend and uh, see where it hits on the paper. So, post another video. But yeah, if any of you guys are wondering, you know, these things are listed in, in good overall condition. And as I got mine, it pretty accurately described. Good overall condition. So, we'll get back to you with the before and after. And uh, we'll take a look at it when it's cleaned up nice and take a look at how it performs out at the uh, range here this weekend. So.